ever wondered how farmers prepare their fields for planting? It's a process known as tillage, and it's a practice as old as agriculture itself. But did you know there are different types of tillage? Today, we delve into the world of soil preparation, focusing on two main types, conventional and conservation tillage. Conventional tillage, as the name suggests, is the traditional method of soil cultivation. It's the type of tillage most often depicted in paintings and films, with farmers guiding their plows through the soil. But it's more than just plowing. Conventional tillage involves a series of techniques, including disking, harrowing, cultivating, chiseling, and subsoiling. The goal is to create a finely cultivated seedbed and manage weeds through substantial soil manipulation. This system of tillage is often more intensive, involving deep plowing and soil inversion. It's all about turning the soil over, breaking it up, and making it ready for planting. While this method is effective in preparing the ground for crops, it does have its drawbacks. The intensive soil disturbance can lead to increased erosion and can sometimes deplete the soil of its natural nutrients. On the other hand, conservation tillage takes a different approach. The focus here is on reducing soil disturbance and promoting conservation. Techniques such as no-till farming, reduced tillage, mulching, contour farming, strip cropping, and rotational grazing are all part of conservation tillage. Unlike conventional tillage, which turns the soil over, conservation tillage aims to minimize soil disturbance. In many cases, crop residues are left on the surface, which can help to preserve soil structure, improve water retention, and minimize erosion. The benefits of conservation tillage can be significant, particularly in areas susceptible to drought or where soil erosion is a concern. So to summarize, conventional and conservation tillage represent two different approaches to preparing the soil for planting. Conventional tillage, with its focus on intensive soil disturbance, can create a finely cultivated seedbed and effectively manage weeds. However, it can also lead to increased erosion and nutrient depletion. Conservation tillage, on the other hand, aims to reduce soil disturbance and promote conservation by leaving crop residues on the surface and minimizing soil disturbance. It can help to preserve soil structure, improve water retention, and reduce erosion. Both types of tillage have their advantages and are used in different situations depending on the specific needs of the soil and the crops being grown. It's a fascinating world beneath our feet and understanding these methods can give us a greater appreciation for the work that goes into growing the food we eat every day. Before we wrap up this insightful journey into the world of tillage, we have a small request for you. If you found this video informative and helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and sharing it with your networks. We'd also love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Our goal at African Farm Tech is to send the hand hoe a symbol of outdated and inefficient farming to the museum. We believe in revolutionizing farming in Africa by promoting sustainable and efficient farming methods like conservation tillage, but we can't do it without your support. Your likes, shares, and comments not only help us reach more people, but also fuel our determination to make a difference in the world of farming. With your support, we can revolutionize farming in Africa. Remember, every like, share, and comment brings us one step closer to our goal. Thank you for your continued support and for being a part of this journey to improve farming practices and ultimately our world.